Good morning, everyone. This is Austin. To say I'm excited is an understatement, but first of all, it's Monday. How are you doing this Monday? I want to raise your energy level up. I want to raise our energy level up as we jump into this, but I want to start off with this. If one advances confidently in the direction of his or her dreams and endeavors to live a life which he or she has imagined, he or she will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. Good morning, Olya, good evening, wherever you are. It's great to have you. So jump in here. That was by Henry David Thoreau. I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about the language that can set you free. As I do that, I want you to check in with yourself this morning and just really, how are you? If, if it's morning for you and you're getting your day started, what can you do to raise your energy level up? It's Monday. It's the day that most people dread. There was an old, an old statistic that more people had a heart attack at 9 a.m. on a Monday than any other time. I wanna invite you to like shed the BS of Monday. You control the day. It's your world, you, you set the tone. I'm gonna talk about that today. And I'm gonna talk about an amazing thing that happened over the weekend, if you haven't already seen it. It's, it was pretty amazing, pretty amazing how things can happen when you move on purpose and life can open up. The universe delivers, it's a divine intervention, whatever you wanna call it, but, but first of all, forget all that. How are you doing on this Monday? I want you to check in with you. What's going on in your world? I know that most people are going through something right now. What do you need to get free from? Can you be more present in your world this morning? Can you move forward? Can you advance? Is that possible? Hey, it's 725, 727 on a Monday morning. You're shaking off the cobwebs. I'm on here live again. But it's all good. I want you to step into this and think about your purpose, your what do you want? Like, what do you want? It's a Monday. Who cares? Let's, let's make an effort to raise our energy level up, regardless of what happened, regardless of what's going on. Regard, you know, listen, I know people are going through things right now. I know it. You're going through something. You're dealing with something in your head. You're dealing with a loss, a transition, a life change, something unexpected. understand that but I want you to just step into where you are and check in with yourself because it's important to like find out how do you feel like what how you feel is feedback for you and you can ignore it or you can just say embrace it and say what does this mean and maybe that feedback is something that you can use to get more present or maybe it's something you use to advance in a new direction or to advance with more clarity in the direction that you're already going in. So welcome in, it's Monday. We're gonna raise the energy level up. <laughs> Listen, do whatever you gotta do, it's Monday. Don't let the day control you, you control the day. I'm gonna read this again. If one advances confidently in the direction of his or her dreams and endeavors to live a life which he or she has imagined, he or she will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. That was said by Henry David Thoreau. And I believe it. And I'm gonna share with you a story. But first let's talk about the language that victims use and how we can shift from taking that language and changing it up and creating empowerment right here in the moment. I wanna invite you to share this with somebody. If there's somebody that you know that needs to hear a positive message, maybe somebody feels like a victim, maybe somebody's stuck Maybe they're going through a major life change. Maybe they're trying to figure things out, right? So I feel, invite you to share this with me, uh, share this with somebody that you know in your circle. And so the language, let's jump into it. What is the language that people use? And listen, I'm gonna be transparent. I catch myself sometimes using this language. I talked about this on the last video series. I'm gonna talk about it again because it's important to go back to the basic things, the things that almost seem imperceptible sometimes those small little things that seem imperceptible if we make a minor adjustment 
it sends us off in a whole different trajectory. And I love to use the golf swing, right? The golf swing, one millimeter shift, and the ball goes from making a slice to going straight down the fairway. And if you're a golfer, you know how small those adjustments are and how much, how the major impact they can have. And so let's talk about this language thing this morning. Are you using bad language? I'm keeping you hanging. So the language that I would catch myself using is language of I have to, I, I, I have to do it. I have to do this. I must do this. I got to do this. And I would catch myself doing, using this language all the time. Let me just say good morning to you guys. Listen, welcome in. It's Monday. I'm talking fast. I'm moving around. I'm excited. Just st step in and check in with yourself and ask yourself, what do you really want? You know, what do you need to get free from? Can you be more present? Can you move forward? Can you advance in the direction of your dreams, your mission, your passion, your purpose? Just, just check in with that. Regardless of anything that I'm saying, this is about you. It's about what you want. And let me just say good morning to Olya. What's up, Rob? Krishna Padam, I hope I'm saying your name right. And by the way, if you wanna jump in and say something that's relevant to this, I will bring you on right now if you want. And you don't have to put the camera on, you can, but if you have something to say, I will invite you on if you have the iOS platform. What's up, Lisa? Lisa's gonna give us a song for the day to help you crank your Monday up. And if you're saying, listen, you're too excited for me on a Monday, that's okay, I wanna invite you to see where you are, maybe just go a little bit higher than where you are. Move forward in the direction of your dreams. Victor's in Sydney, it's 9.25 p.m. Good evening to you from Australia. How was your Monday? Was it good? What's up, Lucy? Lucy's gonna give us a meme for the day, something that you can take with you, a trigger. Maybe put it on your phone as a photo and when, when things get tough, look at that meme and go, yeah, that's right, that's what I mean. Lisa, Lucy got some, some great memes, some great triggers. Lisa's gonna give us a song too, crank it up in your car. Nobody cares, who cares? Crank up the music. What's up, Neil? Hey, Christina. Lisa from South Africa, what's up, Jenna? Good morning. I saw, yes, I saw your text. I didn't read the whole thing yet. It's Monday. Does Monday own you or, does, or do you own Monday? So the, the language of the victim, and this, is, this was me, and I still catch myself sometimes, right? With work, home, responsibilities, it's you say, I have to, I must, I gotta, I have to do this, and I have to do that, and I gotta do this, and I gotta do that, and then you become a human doing and not a human being. And you get caught in the thick of thin things. You make things which matter least more important which, than things which matter most. I want to invite you to change that today. Listen, it's your life. It's your decision. You have a free will. You can change it. You can, anybody can carve out 10 minutes and own your world. You can carve out, go for a small walk and just breathe and just think about, get clear. What is it? What's most important? What do I need to focus on? Right? <clears throat> but shift your language. And like I said before, own your stuff. Only we can own our stuff. We can't make people do what we want them to do. We can't make our boss change. We can't make our, our spouse change. We can't make our kids change. But we can own us. And we can own how we show up in every day. And we can ensure that we are showing up as our best self. So I want to invite you to change your language from I have to, I got to, I gotta, I must, to I will. I choose to, I'm going to, I get to, I want to enjoy, I will. Do you ever have somebody say, when you say, hey, I, let's do this, let's do that, and they say, will do. They say, will do, I'll do it. I'm gonna do it, right? Not, I have to do this. I have to, do you ever hear somebody say, I have to do this? It's like you're a victim. You don't have to do anything. No one's making you do it. And when you say, well, I gotta take care of my kids. Well, yeah, but is somebody making you do that? You're still choosing to do it. No one has a gun to your head saying you have to do it. We're the ones that put the guns to our head. We're the ones that put unrealistic expectations on ourselves. And we get so caught up and we get stressed and it ends up in our body and it's Monday and I have to do this and I have to do that and I gotta do this and I must do that. And it's so like charged with negative energy instead of saying, what can I enjoy today? What's great about today? 
and then move into a place where you say, I get to, I want to, I choose to, I have the opportunity to, and maybe you have some positive expectation. This is going to be great. If I can get this small thing done, right? And I always say, go back to the micro moment. The moment we get to enjoy the small thing. What's the small thing that makes the, the largest trigger? One of the questions I asked on a previous video, what's the smallest activity or the smallest thing you can do to move forward that will yield you the greatest positive impact in your endeavor? Step into that. And I want to talk to you about this. Last, yesterday was an amazing day for me. I'm going to share this story. I met Les Brown. I met Les Brown in an unexpected way, and that's why I'm reading this quote. If one advances is confident in the direction of his or her dreams and endeavors to live a life which he or she has imagined, he or she will meet with a success unexpected in common hours by Henry David Thoreau. And I added the she in there because, ladies, we need to give you your, your due. This was written a long time ago by Henry David Thoreau, but I'm literally taking a nap I put on this meditation music. It's like, you know, it's a power nap meditation. I put it on. I breathe. I fall asleep for like 15 minutes yesterday. I wake up and I go, I'm messaged, people were messaged me and I'm going on Facebook and I see Les Brown is on live with Molly Mahoney, who I just met yesterday, who's a pretty cool person. I get to know her better. And I just started typing in and they say, and we're gonna bring somebody on live. So I immediately jump out of bed, I got a t-shirt on, just getting awake, and I go onto the website and I follow the prompts, and sure enough, I'm on live with Les Brown. Les Brown, if you don't know who Les Brown is, he's one of the most beloved, motivational, inspirational speakers of all time. He's been in some of the most uh, of the biggest corporations you can even imagine. He spoke to the Georgia Dome at one. Of, I think it was like sixty thousand people or fifty thousand people. And this guy is somebody that I, I I look to. One of the people that I use as a model for me. And here I am on live, but the story gets better. I had a dream two nights ago. Well, it's three nights ago now, that. And the, in the dream, I was here with another friend of mine, James McNeil, who's good friends with Les, but I never met Les. And James is here, and we're setting up for a webinar, and Les is going to be involved in the webinar. And we're going to be looking to inspire and help people get a positive message out there. And this was my dream two nights ago. And I was on the, and, and James put, put me on the phone with Les. So I'm on the, in my dream, I'm on the phone with Les, and we're talking about this webinar. And then here, two nights later, an a success unexpected in common hours. I just woke up from a nap, and I'm on live with Les Brown. You can watch that video. It's on my wall. And like I said, I just woke up, but it was an exciting thing that happened. It's all about spreading the message of something positive. And based on my story of, you know, I'm not going to reiterate my story, but it, it, it was a, it's been a challenging road for me. For those of you that know me firsthand, they know where I came from. They know what life was like and the struggle that I had. Of, uh, and I, and I had low self-esteem. I mean, like I had uh, lower self-esteem. I wouldn't say I was the worst case, but I had some low self-esteem that I was, I was managing through. And so I put this out there and I'm completely open and transparent with you because I, I'm, look, I know people are suffering with this. I know people are going through hard times with this. And, and live in life based on, a, on the wrong paradigm or the wrong philosophy. It's never too late to change. You can change it today. You can change it now. You can change it in this moment. What thing can you do to move forward? Can you, what do you need to get free from to move forward in your direction, your journey? Can you be more present in your life and your relationships? And I have that in there because it adds power and juice to our lives. I had an amazing weekend with my family. I met Les Brown. Like, what a, what a weekend, I, you know, and it was funny because when you think you should be working and doing all this stuff, right, because that's usually my, my MO is I got to be working, I got to be chiming away, I got to be doing it and doing it and doing it, and here I let go. I had an amazing day with my mom. I had an amazing day with my dad. I, I, I carved out time for what was most important, and then in an unexpected success in common hours, 
I, I met Les Brown. And so let go.